In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys at home exactly how much it costs to start your very own car cleaning business on a budget. So you wanna get started, but you don't really know where to begin. You don't know what products you wanna get, and you don't know whether you're gonna be fully committed yet. So I really wanna reach out to you guys today, and I wanna try and find some really good budget solutions for you to get yourself off the ground. Now, we all understand that right now, times are tough for everybody so you're not going to have a lot of money so we need to find really good low risk ideas for your business so we need to find chemicals that are going to be good enough to do the job and we're not going to say they're going to be the perfect ones for you but they're going to be good enough just to get you off the ground and get you out there and get you earning some money as quickly as possible so by the time this video has finished you will have all the knowledge and all the information you could possibly need to get yourself off the ground if you wanted to start even within the next 24 hours. So it's not just the chemicals we're gonna be looking at, we're gonna be looking at cheap, affordable equipment that is gonna be good enough for you to get started. And we're also gonna be covering insurance plus a few other little bits as well. So without further ado, let's get started and let's dive straight in with the video. And we're gonna start off with topic number one and that is sourcing yourself a good, reliable vehicle. So we all have this vision, we all wanna have a flashy van, we want our own branding, we wanna look the very best. But the reality of it is, you can't just go out there and get that, unless you're fortunate enough to have a lot of money or being given a nice loan to get you off the ground. For the majority of people, it's not gonna work like that. You are gonna be starting off with the bare essentials. And for me, I'll just share a little bit about my background. I started off with a pedal bike and a trailer, and I knocked on people's doors, I had a watering can, I had some old sponges and a bucket, but at least I got started. I wanted to pursue this for the rest of my life. I wanted to evolve it into something better where I could finally get my own house. And I think I've done a pretty good job when I look back over the last 15 years or so. And I always went on a step-by-step -step process. So I thought, okay, look, I've done as much as I can do with a bike. Let's jump onto a car and let's jump onto a van. So the thing I wanna point out to you guys, ideally you need a good vehicle. A bike is probably not, is not gonna be a right option for pretty much any of you unless you live in a built-up area and you're happy just doing like these five pound washes. But for most of you, you're gonna need to get yourself a decent set of wheels and that's why I'm actually gonna suggest you start off with a car. So why would you choose a car over a van in the first place? Well, look, in a perfect world, you get a van, but the thing is finding a van at a cheap price that hasn't been used and abused is very difficult. Whereas a car, you've got a lot more options. now. I've done a few searches online over the last couple of days just to sort of see what you can get for 1500 quid. It's not good. I mean, these are vans that have sort of been to hell and back. They pretty much got no life left in them, but they still got a bit of value. It's a real tough one. It is a real tough one to decide because you're starting out and you don't know whether you're going to pursue it, whether you're going to carry it on for, you know, a year or so. You need to give it a go. But for me, I'm actually going to say start off with a car. And there, I think there's plenty of good cars out there. You can get a very cheap Volvo or a Skoda Octavia or a VW Passat. There's a lot of really good estate cars out there that have got plenty of room. And you don't have to have a water tank or a generator. Not when you're starting off. Yeah, long term, you're gonna probably wanna get stuff like that. But right now, in this moment, a car will probably be good enough. However, there is a word of caution. If you do use a car as a business vehicle, make sure you declare it with the insurance because what's gonna happen is if you're in an accident and they see you've got all these car cleaning chemicals or you've got a little water tank or anything you really shouldn't be having in there, your insurance will be invalidated and you could get prosecuted and get six points on your license. And believe me, I do know people who have had this scenario happen to them. So make sure you get the proper insurance and do be honest about everything you're gonna be putting in your vehicle. Okay, so you've got your vehicle sorted out, you now gotta get yourself some insurance. Now the company I'm gonna recommend here, this is not a paid promotion by the way, I'm just gonna say it because I'm actually using them myself, and you need to use someone like Covershaw because if you go down the route of trying to find a comparison site for detailing and car cleaning, what you're gonna find is in the small print there's a lot of things that aren't covered. So yes, you can get public liability, but within those comparison sites, they're not all gonna protect you against things like, oh, if you fall over and you jet wash scratches the paintwork, you're not gonna be covered for them. So you need to make sure that you go for a proper valeting insurance company. And that's why I'm gonna recommend CoverShore. And I will put a link to them in the description below and do go check them out. 
because I think they're a really good option for you. Now, depending on what sort of cover you want for the type of vehicles you're going to be doing, it could vary from anything from £100 all the way up to £450. So I've got a really top-notch one, but I'm doing sort of luxury top-end cars. But I think for you guys starting out, if you want to start from the bottom and sort of work your way up, I think you can get a really good deal. And it'll probably be between sort of the £1 to £200 mark. Right, with all the boring stuff out of the way, let's talk chemicals. Now, one of the things you want to do is ideally buy in bulk because it's cheaper, but then you don't know how you're going to get on doing the business. So you need to find a sort of happy go between, like right bang in the middle. And this is why I'm going to suggest five litre products. Now, they're not the most cost effective, but when you compare them to the one litres and the 500 mils, I think this is going to be the best option for you guys. You've got very little storage that you're going to need if you want to take all of them with you in your car or in your van. I think they're going to be perfect for anybody i don't think you need to jump straight on the 25 liters apart from tfr because i think that's one thing you are going to get through quite a lot of so when it comes to finding five liter products you can be very good i mean turtle wax do one here for 10 pounds on amazon it's a it's a bargain basement shampoo it does the job look it's not the most greatest thing in the world it smells nice though and you will be able to offer a decent service to your clients it's, a, it's good enough for what you're going to need to get started off I think that's a point I want to get across because I know you sort of see me use loads of different brands, but they're sort of more based at your weekend warriors. If we were talking about trade products where you can sort of buy it in massive quantities and it doesn't cost the earth, this is the sort of route that you want to go down. Okay, so looking at TFRs, now we want to look at this one, which is Power Max for £13.50, you're going to be able to get five litres. However, if you want to get 20 litres extra for £10 extra, Turtle Wax also do their own TFR. So do go check that out. They've obviously got different dilution rates. Power Max is brilliant. Turtle Wax is it's okay. It's not the greatest thing, but you do get 25 litres. So it sort of swings and roundabouts. But for me, if I wanted to buy it, I'd probably buy a 25 litre tub. But that's probably the only 25 litres that I'd really go down the route of buying if I was starting out. I'm just going to chuck this one out here because I think a lot of people still sort of question whether you need snow foam or not and I sort of preach about it all the time that you don't always need it when you're doing like your, your Mickey Mouse well it's your very cheap and cheerful ones you can get a good affordable snow foam pro clean do this one which I found this is all on Amazon by the way and I do make a little bit of commission on any sales if you were to go and buy any but I'm not plugging these products directly I'm just saying this is a great source of getting them because you can obviously get next day delivery it's cheap and at least you're pretty much covered if anything doesn't turn up in the post. So this is Pro Clean Snow Foam. Again, you get five liters for 15 pounds 95. That's pretty good value for money. Now, snow foams are really expensive and they're not very cost effective in my personal opinion. If you're plowing through loads of cars and you're not charging enough, it's great for your full on detailing where you're gonna be making a lot of money per day, but we're just talking about getting started. So it's not obviously something that everybody's going to be sort of jumping for joy about using. So, But I thought I'd list it up here anyway, just for you guys to see. But yeah, for 15 quid, you'll be able to get yourself five litres of snow foam. Moving on to the wheels, you can get yourself five litres of Dragon's Blood from ProClean. That's going to set you back about £25. Now, it depends if you want to get it on offer, because sometimes, like today, it's actually now come down, it's £21. So you've got to keep your eyes on Amazon because they do sort of fluctuate prices now and then. Really good option for you. It's probably one of the cheapest fallout removers you can actually get online right now at this moment. And now we're going to jump straight in to Turtle Wax's Professional Wheel Cleaner. Now that's 15 quid. Now this is acid based, so it is going to be very aggressive. It's not going to be suitable for all your cars, but you've got to look at it this way. You might be doing some proper old bangers that people might not care about their cars, but they want a deep clean. If you want something that's going to be very effective, very quick and very pain free, just go for something like that. Now, I, I get it. Loads of people hate acid, but I don't. I genuinely do not hate using wheel acid. I would never use it on the wheel faces, but on the insides, if you're doing a real disgusting car, I think there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, don't use it on black wheels, obviously, but for me, there are quite a lot of wheels in a lot of situations where you can get away with using it so do keep your eyes on that and that's only going to set you back about 15 quid for five liters um there are some other websites which i probably will point out later on in the year because i want to sort of dive a little more into acid and i know you can get it a lot cheaper than that from a few other sort of local stores in your area but they're not mainstream we're talking about something if you wanted to get everything delivered within 24 hours so that's the best value for money in terms of acid-based wheel cleaners 15 quid for five liters can't go wrong 
Now let's talk about tar removal because this is something that you can get that's very cheap to buy and it also gives you a really good amount of profit if you want to use it as an upsell. So if you do a £50 valet, you can look at the car and say, oh, do you know what, it needs to have a lot of tyre removal. You've got something there that could potentially make you sort of 10 to £20 extra. So for me, I'm going to use, oh, what a name by the way, Epic Solutions Tyre Remover. Now this is 22 quid for 5 litres. You're going to be able to do 10 to £20 upsells on using about a pound's worth of product. It is a really good thing to have. This is a real bargain basement tyre dressing right here. Now this is going to set you back £10 for 5 litres and it's from Carplan, it's their trade valet formula, it's tyre silk. I'm not going to say it's the greatest in the world, no way. Are you going to probably get a little bit of sling off the wheels onto the bodywork? Yeah, you probably will do, but if you apply it with an applicator sponge, it's going to be good enough for your cheap and cheerful valets. It's a good one to get started on. Like, a lot of these products, after you've used them after a couple of weeks or a couple of months, you're probably going to want to move on to bigger and better things. But the point is you've sort of got to learn the processes and it's better to sort of make mistakes using sort of cheaper products than expensive ones because obviously it's not a very cheap business to run. It is very, very costly when you're getting started out. So do go check it out. It's 10 quid. Can't really go wrong for that sort of money. When it comes to glass cleaner, this is something I don't know if you really need a five litres, but I've put it up here anyway. It's Valet Pros and it's £21 for five litres of glass cleaner. However, I don't really use a lot of glass cleaner. I think there's my own methods that I use with the flunkies and the hot water, which can actually make your glass look perfect. So I don't know if you really need it. Alternatively, you can get yourself a bottle of window lean for a quid. There's loads of glass cleaners out there for one pound for a little bottle. So you can't really go wrong with that. And if you want to sort of save money and you don't want to invest 20 quid on glass cleaner straight away, I think it's a really good move just to sort of, maybe just sort of push that one to the side and go for your little one pound bottles. So now we covered the washing side of things, let's look about the finishing. And Sonax is probably one of the best value for money products out there because you can get five litres for £37.50. I've used this in the past and I need to go and buy some more because I need to get it on the channel. The water just sheets off, it's absolutely incredible. It's quick, it's easy, there's no fuss, there's no gimmicks. It just does a really good job. So do go check that one out, it's £37.50. I, I love my sprays, I love my detailer sprays and that is just an absolute class act to follow. So do go check that one out. And that has had over 3,000 ratings at five stars. So I mean, Jesus Christ, that is pretty impressive. When it comes to starting out and polishing, there's only one that I'm gonna really push here and that is Auto Glim Super Resin Polish. It's quick, it's easy, it's effective. You can do your car, make it look great and then you are gone. Look, granted it's not gonna last forever, it's probably gonna be washed off within a month. But the point I wanna make is when you're offering a car cleaning service, you just want that customer to have that wow factor. You want them to think you've done an amazing job and you've done it in little time as well. This is gonna be a fantastic option. It's not even gonna cost you 15 quid and you are gonna get through quite a lot of it. So do go check out Super Resin Polish and I've also done a video on it and I'll put a link in the description below to that. And I did one the other day actually on their scratch remover and I was really impressed with that. That was a great alternative for anyone who doesn't wanna remove a scratch using machine or they're just getting started out. So do go watch that one as well. If you wanna get involved with compounds, for a beginner, I think Ultimate Compound by Meguiar's can't go wrong for that it's only going to set you back 13 quid as well so it's an absolute bargain for you to try and I've also done a video on that god these I'm really plugging my videos now that's fantastic and you can use it by hand as well and you can you can really make a car look a lot better it's not going to be perfect because you haven't got a machine at this point but still you can make a car look good and that's what I love about it I love the simplicity and that's why I'm listing a lot of these products because they're just quick and easy to use you're not really going to get any drama it's no gimmicks um, and yeah, it's just fantastic stuff to use. So do go check out Maguire's Compound. And I probably will do more videos later on in the year about compounding because I've not really covered the machine polishing side of things. I think it's something I want to sort of get into on the channel. But at the minute, there's just not much point. The weather's pretty grim out there anyway, to be honest. Now we're going to talk about the inside. And Williams Racing do a fantastic range of interior cleaners. I always go on about their fabric cleaner because it's very cheap, it's just very effective, and it makes the car smell lovely as well, and that's gonna set you back about seven pounds for five litres. Now we've also got their cockpit and dashboard cleaner, 12 pound 99 for five litres. That is gonna last you quite a long time, and it's gonna be able to do everything that the big boys can sort of do as well. So it really can compete with some real big name branded products out there. But I just wanna say that I'm not sort of plugging these saying that you've gotta use these for the rest of your life. I'm just saying if you're getting started, 
it's nice to sort of start off with something that's pretty much half decent. Not the greatest in the world, but it's going to be able to sort of keep you happy and keep your clients happy. So I'm, I'm absolutely chuffed about using this. I've used it many times in the past, sort of before I got started on YouTube. Maybe I should buy some more and get some on the channel just to show you guys because it's 5 litres, 12 99 cannot go wrong. So moving on to dressing the interior trim, you've got Auto Glim rubber and vinyl care. That's going to set you back about £9 on average. They also do a leather cleaner, that's going to cost you £8. And you may as well get a few cans of dashboard spray while you're there. Because at the end of the day, I know a lot of people hate it, and don't get me wrong, I am one of them. But a lot of customers say to me, have you got any of that nice spray? Can you just spray the car? Can you make it smell a little bit nicer? Can you do this? Can you do that? Sometimes you don't want to do it, but sometimes you have to. So it's always good to get a couple of cans. They're only going to set you a few quid back um, per can. So it's, just, it's not going to break the bank. I do recommend you get some. Go for non-silicon, purely because of the fact silicon will stick to your lungs. If you spray it in the air, you breathe it in, it will stick to your lungs and also give you permanent damage in the future. So you've got to be very careful, especially with chemicals. Alternatively, buy yourself a mask. With all the basic chemicals taken care of, let's take a look at some of the tools that you're gonna need. And I've got a list of ones that I wanna sort of bring up right here. And the first one that I really wanna show you guys is the Titan Vac. Now that's gonna set you back about 70 pounds to get yourself one. And I think they're probably one of the best sort of affordable ones you can buy. If you wanted to spend double, go for the Charles Hoover. And the Charles Hoover is the same as a George Hoover made by, you know, the Henry Pneumatic Company. Now they've got a twin motor in, they're very powerful, they're very reliable. They don't have the trigger on to sort of squirt the chemical, but you can buy a cheap pump sprayer for like a few quid. So it's not really gonna sort of break the bank. For me, I personally go for the George, but as this is a budget video, yeah, the Titan wet vac has just got the edge. When it comes to pressure washers, for me, there's a hands down winner based on the price, value for money, and everything you sort of get with it. And that is the Karcher Expert 7125. Now, in a perfect world, you'd want to get yourself a Kranzel because they are the best of the best, or you might want to get yourself a yellow Karcher Domestic, but the domestic ones, they're not as well built, unless you go for the K7. The K7, to be fair, is probably one of the greatest out of the domestic range. The K5 was good, but it had a shorter hose, and I think it would struggle if you put a longer hose on it. So for me, the hands-down winner would have to be the Karcher Expert HD7125. So being a car cleaner, you need to get yourself a hose and it's only gonna set you back about 17 quid for a 30 meter one. Yes, it's gonna get kinks, it's not perfect, but it would do the job. Also with extension leads, don't go longer than 10 meters because it will probably blow the fuse within the jet wash and it can cause it to break down a lot quicker. An extension lead will set you back about 11 pounds. Pump sprayers, now these are things you are gonna get through. They're cheap and cheerful, they cost 10 quid each you're gonna get through quite a lot. So I do recommend doubling up and buying at least two when you go out because you could tread on them. They fall apart very quickly. If you wanna spend the money, you can get really good quality ones. My one cost me about 50 quid and it has been a proper trooper. But then I'm still buying parts for it to this day. So I think starting off on a budget, 10 quid for a pump sprayer is all you're really gonna to need to spend. Because this is a startup video and not all of you have got vans and not all of you are going to go down the water tank route, I'm actually going to leave that to one side and I'm going to leave that for another video. So let's talk about drying the car. The first thing you're going to need is loads of drying towels. Now you can get some really cheap ones for £5 each. Amazon do some pretty good trade ones. They're going to set you about £15 for three towels. So they are, like I said, £5 each. Flunkies are £3.50 each. Now they are perfect for the glass. And if you do very cheap cars where the client is like, I don't really care if you don't use a towel, use a flunky on the bodywork. Yes, you're going to get little micro scratches, but at the end of the day, if Mrs. Jones has got a really old Ford Fiesta, she doesn't care about it, she wants you to clean it, make it look good, a flunky is going to be able to do the job. And it's very quick and effective. It holds so much water. And as soon as you've wrung it out, it's light as a feather again. And that's sort of one of the disadvantages with a towel. Once it gets so wet, you're wringing them out, you end up ripping your gloves straight away because your gloves are so weak and they're not cheap to buy these days gloves. So do bear that in mind if you're gonna go for microfiber towels as well. Now you can get these yellow Kirkland towels. Everybody goes on about them. You can get them in Costco for like 20 quid for a pack of 36. They are such a bargain, but you can get them on Amazon as well. They're a little like three quid extra at the end of the day, but at least you get next day delivery on them as well. Now tyre sponges are going to set you back £5 for five sponges. Self-explanatory really, don't really need to go into a lot more about that apart from the fact that 
I'd use a sponge over a brush any day when dressing the tyres. Wax applicators, now if you really wanted to be cheap and cheerful, you can get them on AliExpress for like 50p. And that actually that goes for the tyre sponges as well because they're so flipping cheap, but then you've got to wait like up to a million days for it to arrive. But if we're talking about something you want fast delivery for, it's gonna cost you about six pounds for 12 applicator sponges. Right, let's talk about accessories and I'm sort of going between the camera and the computer here. Accessories you can get, first of all, get yourself a caddy because you can carry it around with you when you're walking around the car. It's gonna save you a lot of time. That's gonna set you back about five pounds, maybe 10 pounds, depending on the sort of size you're gonna get. Pet hair brushes, now these are very cheap. If you don't have a pet hair brush, you can make do with a window squeegee that you clean your windows with. That does the job, but a pet hair brush is only gonna set you back three pounds. Now moving on to empty bottles, you can get three for 10 quid, but I will say there is a cheaper alternative. Now, why don't you get yourself three bottles of glass cleaner, once they're used, wash them out, and you've got yourself three good bottles. Now, they're not gonna be perfect, they're not gonna hold masses of water, but at the end of the day, it's still another little cost-effective hack that you can do. If, if not, if you wanna buy your branded bottles or whatever, seriously, get in contact with me. I've got loads of empty bottles. But I will say, three for a tenner, it's not really a bad price, but you can make do. If you can wash out ones that haven't had any acid in or anything like that, then they are really good. And you've got to bear in mind that if you are using wheel acid, you need to have a very strong trigger. So you do need to find one that's going to cost probably a little bit extra than what we're saying right here. Car cleaning brushes. If you want to get yourself a very cheap set, it's going to cost you about £10 on average and you'll be able to get a load of brushes in one box. And yeah, they're very cheap and cheerful, and they're not as soft as those lovely, luxurious, yum car ones I'm currently using, but they're good enough for you guys getting started out. Makeup brushes, now they are a cheaper alternative. They're very delicate, they're very soft, and yeah, I've used makeup brushes in the past. Not on my face, obviously, I'm an ugly bastard, but I have been using them on cars, and I think they did really good. They're quite similar to sort of detailing brushes, so brilliant thing to have, and they're great for like sort of doing around the badges if you want to be very gentle. Wash mitts, they're cheap as chips, they're gonna cost you about a fiver each. You can get some really good microfiber wash mitts. I'm not really a fan of the lamb's wool ones, if I'm brutally honest. However, there is something else that a lot of people sort of frown upon. I like the wash noodles. Now you can get them for a pound each. If you look well enough online, and believe me, you can, you can even get them in the blimmin' pound shop. Now I'm not saying using them over the whole car, but when you're doing the lower section of the car, the lower third where you get lots and lots of nitty gritty bits, you're probably better off using a wash noodle than using a microfiber um, wash mitt. I've got a video coming very soon which is all about Poundland, believe it or not, and we're gonna be looking at their products because there's so many little things and I'm gonna give you another example now, I'll give you a quick giveaway. You can get two nail brushes for a quid, which basically they are perfect on cleaning leather if you're very careful and you're very delicate, but they're great on also getting bits out of the carpets. If you've got like those Peugeot carpets where you really struggle to get bits out of, a nail file brush is actually pretty good. It will sort of fluff it up a bit, but it is great on cleaning mats and other things as well. So there's loads of different uses and being 50p each, it's an absolute bargain. So that video is coming very soon. And while I've got my list out here, there's a few other things you do need to get hold of. And, it, and this is one that I think a lot of people try and do shortcuts on and it's wheel brushes because we wheel brushes alone they are not very cheap and i know there's loads of people who have messaged me saying look what do you think about these fake ones you can get on aliexpress the fake wheel willies i've bought them before and i did a video i've actually hidden it now because i was so bad in front of the camera and they they were good they were good when i used them but then a week later oh my god they just flew off the stick they were just literally glued on with a prit stick they were so terrible um no way am i going to advise going for the cheaper ones whatsoever they're just awful awful things now you can get the ez car brush that's one of the best brushes you do get a lot of splashback but it's very good but you do have to look after it make sure that you completely dry it out afterwards you don't want to get any rust because as soon as it rusts it snaps and the handles do snap on those types of brushes the will woolies for me are the ultimate champion because they're very tough they will last so much longer and because they're like a plastic stick as well like they're just Everything about it, they're very long sticks, so you don't have to sort of get your hand right in there. You can rely a lot on actually having your hands away from the wheel. So when you're in the cold, they're really helpful to have, and they're just super soft, and they do a really nice job of the wheel. 
So if you don't want to get wheel wheelies because they are so expensive, then you can take a little bit of a shortcut. You can go for the Vicam brush. Now I mentioned Vicam brushes in so many videos. I use them every single day still. I like, they're just like some of my favorite brushes. Great for tires, great for doing the carpets, great for doing the wheels, they're great for doing the arches. There's so many things that they're perfect for. And it's cost 35 quid and you can get them on Amazon as well. 35 pounds, you get a whole bundle of Vicam brushes, really good quality, really strong, and they will last you years and years. So probably, if you really are on a budget, I think that would probably be better than your Will Willies, just purely for the fact it is a heck of a lot cheaper and they are just as durable. Granted, they're not gonna be as soft, so they are gonna be more aggressive. You might be prone to scratching on the wheels as well, so you just gotta bear it in mind. I still think you need some soft brushes if you're gonna be cleaning the wheels. Super soft ones, like the Yum brushes that I've got. A Carbon Collective do some as well. Um, an Alien Magic, I haven't tried them out yet, but I do wanna get my hands on some very soon. So there's loads of different brushes, but I think when it comes to wheels, you can get away with using the Vicam ones for like the insides and around the tire and that, but I think you still need super soft ones when cleaning the wheel faces. Last but not least, get yourself a good strong bucket and a grit guard. So you're gonna need at least two. Some of you want three if you wanna use a two bucket method. And remember, you've gotta keep a bucket spare for your wheels as well. And they're gonna cost you about 22 pounds each. Now you can go for dirt cheaper ones. If you wanna get a grit guard, for example, on AliExpress, you can get them for less than one pound. But like I said before, you do have to wait a very long time if you wanna get them in the post. Now it's time for the grand total of chemicals. So I've totaled it all up. Now this is just a rough guide. There's some things I have excluded as well. So there's not gonna be every single thing on here because I've done different variations such as TFR and brushes and things like that. So the grand total you're gonna look at on average is gonna set you back about 400 pounds. And that's just a rough ballpark figure for all your chemicals if you wanna get started. I also want to mention that I have not included water tanks or generators in this video purely because of the fact it is a basic startup guide and I don't care who you are you do not need a water tank and a generator if you want to get started it's only on the rare scenario that a client doesn't have water or they don't have power now there is just sometimes that real slim probability that it does happen and unfortunately sometimes you just can't do it and you've got to let it go but don't let that beat you up it's not the end of the world if the majority of your clients are going to be happy of you using water and power for goodness sake just go for it because you're going to save so much more money in the long run so if you've already got your own vehicle your own car or van you've done half of the battle now you're going to need to find yourself that other £1,500. And that other £1,500 will be your 400 on your chemicals. You're going to need your insurance, which can vary from 100 to 400 quid, depending on sort of what you go for. You're then also going to have to buy your machines. And you don't really want to go too cheap when it comes to your pressure washer. That's just something I've always been a believer in. I've been there. I've done that. I've had the real cheap, nasty £100 jet washers. They just don't work half as good and you've ended up losing that money you'll chuck it in the bin you won't even get a penny for it selling it on facebook and it's just not worth it so i think all in all if you want to get yourself a vehicle that's going to be half decent and you want to cover all your insurances and everything on the grand scheme of things it's going to cost you sort of worst case scenario around three thousand pounds to get started and also i want to share one more quick top tip before i go and that's the fact you can buy established businesses on eBay as well. Now they will have their own client base, they will have their own vans, their own stickers, everything could already be pre-done for you. So do go check out eBay as well. There could be, just as luck has it, a business for sale in your area. So if you don't wanna get started from scratch, you want everything all taken care of, all done for you, don't forget to go check out on eBay and see what they've got lurking around because you never know, there could be a real hidden gem. So that about wraps it up for this video and I hope you found it inspiring or insightful and I hope you can actually take something from this. If you're looking to get yourself started, you can do it and you can do it within the next 24 hours. It's not impossible. As long as you've got your right vehicle and you've got a little bit of money, you don't need a massive amount to get off the ground. So just bear that in mind. You don't have to start big. You can gradually work your way up and you might not even like it anyway. For those of you who are just jumping in, who've never even cleaned a car, you've still got to learn whether you're gonna adapt to the cold or whether you're gonna adapt to it getting too hot. There's so many things you've got to consider. So if you wanna learn a bit more about valeting and you wanna see me even do detailing using my own car, like chucking all my rubbish in there, 
then do go check that video out and I'll put a link in the description below for all sort of relevant videos that I think you really might enjoy that you might be able to engage with because I don't just cover disaster details. We look at loads of business videos. We cover all sorts of different strategies to get you noticed as well. So also make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on those bell notifications and I'll leave it there because I'm going to be blabbering on but I will see you very soon for another video. Bye bye.